It's another Jubal phone prank. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Hello? Hey, yeah, this is Tom. I don't know how these guys got in my backyard, but you need to come get them. Yeah, um, I I guess I don't really know what you're talking about. Um, uh, wh- what's your name, first of all? Uh, it's Abby. Abby, hey, yeah, I don't know what this is all about. So um, if you could just okay. come get them, I would appreciate it because I can't wake any of them up. And uh, they are just passed out everywhere and obviously very sloppy. Okay, um, are you talking about like grown men like where where do you i sorry you're giving me no information I, all i know look all i know is i came home and i walked in the house and then i saw in the backyard by my pool what looked to be feet then i walked out and there were six guys all passed out one of them had this little stamp on it that said if lost call this number so i'm calling the number and i need you to pick them up and i don't know what this is about i'm very upset actually oh my god um okay do you do you live in las vegas yes i do and that doesn't okay. mean every place in uh, Vegas is a pool party. <laughs> I live an hour yeah, outside no, of I, Vegas, actually. I don't even know where these guys came from, how they got here, nothing. But they are... Uh, I, I, wait, you live an hour outside of Vegas? Yep, and I live an hour outside of Vegas. I was gone for the weekend. I get back, and uh, it looks like they were throwing a party in my pool. You're lucky I don't press charges. Oh actually, God. as a matter of fact, I might press charges. Oh, my God. What the... Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Just give me a second to figure this out. Um, It's... I don't really have a second. I need these guys out of my yard. Okay, okay. Well, um, that's my it's my fiance and his and his bachelor party, and our wedding is tomorrow, and he's supposed to be on a flight. So I'm trying to figure out logistically what to do right now. Can you like throw some water on them? Like I don't really know what to do here. You said he has a flight to catch. Yeah, his flight was supposed to leave an hour ago, and my <laughs> rung up fiance. Like I don't know. What were you doing? Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm so sorry. I'm very confused here. Did you give them my address and tell them to throw a party in my house? Is that what happened? No, I have no idea what they were doing to get an hour outside of Vegas. Like, I'm I'm freaking out right now. I don't know how they got there. I don't know, like, I haven't been, like, I'm so sorry. Please don't press charges. Like, they're they're good guys. They're not, like, violent or anything. Like, they, they're, they're accountants. Like, oh, my God. I'm, like, I don't know what to do. Our wedding is tomorrow. You're getting married tomorrow? I'm getting married tomorrow, so I'm dealing with a lot right now, like appointment wise. Like I'm supposed, like I'm supposed to be going to get my hair done in like 30 minutes. Like please, like can you try and wake them up so they can? I have to find them another flight. Oh my god! Like can you? I'll, I'll call them an Uber to come get them. Like, oh my god! I can't believe he f- did this. Are you kidding me? You sound upset. Yeah, I'm upset. I'm upset because my husband is potentially in legal trouble, and I've spent our entire savings on this wedding. And oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, oh my, God, I know no one in Vegas to come get him. Like, I know this isn't your problem, okay. but like, my you know wedding what? is tomorrow. And I- I'll tell you what. Okay, because I can tell you're upset. It sounds like he's going to miss your wedding because he got drunk and somehow passed out in my yard an hour outside of Vegas, which has happened before with these bachelor parties. I don't know why it always happens to me, but it does happen. Um, I can help you out, I think. Um, What if I just wake him up, get him ready, and then we do like a Zoom thing? It will cost you $1,000, but we can do that. No, no, I'm not going to pay you a thousand dollars to zoom in my husband. Like that's a, that's not right. how this is going to work. You've convinced me. I'll catch a flight out there and be a stand-in. No, I, no, I don't know who the f- you are. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm going to go. Like I need to figure this out. Like I don't even care if he shows up tomorrow. This is so irresponsible. All right, well then I'll let you know that he's actually on the plane. And this is Jubal from the Jubal Show doing a phone prank on you and your fiance oh. Liam set you up. Uh. <laughs> It's a oh, joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said you were worried he wasn't going to make it back from Vegas from his bachelor party and wanted to mess with you. Yeah, well, no sh- Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I guess our first night of marriage, he's going to be sleeping on the f- couch. This is like- <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal phone pranks.